Now that Jagmeet and Harry Kadron and Lali here with us, you both just finished your round three game. It was a draw. Would you care to take us through the game? Or would you assess it from your point of view? None of you want to start. Um, okay. Always in the second row, as usual. She, she surprised me with the C6. <laughs> I think there is no opening line. She's glad that she doesn't play. <laughs> So I'm always getting tired when I play the game. See, I mean, before the round uh, to, to, repeat, prepare. to prepare and repeat all the lines. And uh, yeah, I played my usual uh, line, which I play usually on this uh, slab defense. And um, I didn't get much out of the opening. So I'm not sure about E4. And I played maybe first I need to prepare this E4, maybe. Rook C2 and Rook C1 was better try. I don't I'm, I'm not sure, I don't know. Because after Rook E8, actually Rook E8 I think was a quite good move for black. After that, um, I don't know, I, I didn't like my position that much. And you just didn't feel kind of, you felt it was all right just to call, yeah. call it a day. How do you care from your mind? So surprised in the second move, like, do, do you do that? Do you see like, sit with your opponent and you think like, how am I going to surprise them now best? Obviously, that's part of, part of the game, yeah? It just depends, um, but okay, yeah, it was a little bit surprised because we played many games together and I played many different uh, lines, but not this one specially. Uh, but uh, I think out of opening, I just got a normal position. And in between, I was trying to figure out where to put the pieces. I got like double bishop, I didn't know whether I should keep it or like just exchange on bishop into c3. So I decided to keep the bishops and just play uh, some normal chess and uh, I was just, uh, okay after e4 I was just hanging on there, I wasn't uh, exchanging maybe e4 or I wasn't deciding because I had double bishop, I was just waiting for white plan to, uh, 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 which plan she would take and uh, yeah I think in the end it was just, uh, I think it's equal position. So getting back to the elements of surprise, could you tell that you surprised your opponent on the second move? Did you uh, see any reaction or anything? No, I think uh, because I played mini in general, uh, that is the reason like opponents have to prepare a lot and uh, yeah, sometimes it could be a surprise because like how many opponents you can uh, revise in a day, so yeah. You played a lot of games together, you know each other very well, you've spent a lot of time together. Do you ever analyze together? Like, and is, how common is it, like back in the olden days, players used to sit after the game and sit together, discuss and analyze. Now that doesn't often seem to be the case. Players just go back to their rooms and sit with their best friend at the computer. Uh, do you ever analyze together? And is, there a, is that a thing at all nowadays? Mm -hmm. I don't seriously, but maybe after the game we just say something. But in that analysis, would you ever be free to fully discuss what you really think, or are you saving? Would you normally save something for the computer to best check rather than mention to your opponent? No, I usually mention what I was thinking, and uh, yeah, it's always interesting uh, how your opponent, uh, how what was her thoughts. So uh, I usually share my thoughts to, to my opponent. Yeah, I mean, like we are friends, I don't think we will like really keep too much of secrets after the game, maybe before the game, yeah, but not after the game. So yeah, we, if we find anything interesting, but more or less we are having some boring drops in the recent times, so there is nothing much to much analyze. To <laughs> All right, well, looking at the broader picture, Harika, we're in your home country and you're in a way a host here, so are you going to show up something to your friend here while you're, while you're in New Delhi? Uh, are you planning to share some experience to her or with other colleagues here? Uh, unfortunately, we don't have rest day, a common rest day. So we are going to have rest days on different uh, timings, different days, so I think it's difficult. But uh, yeah, on the last day, when the tournament gets over, if anyone would want to go out, obviously I would love to do that. Uh, but uh, anyway, the organizers are arranging the expression, like whoever wants on the rest day, they can go ahead. So yeah, I think here, especially, it won't be much time um, right. to be together, like uh, no free day. Okay. All right, well, thank you both so much and good luck with rest and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.